Wake up, Bombalina. It's a brand new day. A day filled with infinite possibilities. Why, today might be the day our business finally turns around. What are you doing? Are you hiding something from me? Let me see. Bombalina, why would you steal these things? You know, if you're not careful, one of these days the police are going to march right through that door and arrest you. I didn't mean it. Didn't mean what? That you'd arrest Bomblerina? Bomblerina, that's a rather unusual name for a cook. Wait, no, not a cook, a crook. That's rather a neutral name for a crook. You're not going to lock her up, are you? Of course I'm going to lock her up. I can't let hardened criminals run around willy-nilly. Well, maybe I can let them run around willy, but I certainly can't let them run around nilly. Now, where is the miscreant? What do you mean, where is she? She's right there. Be behind the cat? No, she is the cat. You gotta be kidding me. I'm not going to arrest a cat. Who? Wait, then what are you doing here? Don't tell anyone, but I'm after a gang of jewel thieves. <gasps> jewel thieves? Shh, keep it down. Sorry. Jewel thieves? Who told you? You did. Well, keep it under your hat. Wait, forget that. You aren't wearing your hat. Keep it under my hat. Have you seen Do you know what the do you know what they look like? No, all I know is they've been selling jack diamonds from a number of jewelry stores, then smuggling them out of the country. The problem is, is I don't know how they're smuggling them out of the country. It's just like a mystery novel. This is nothing like a mystery novel, sir. Why your very knife could be in danger. What? Oh, did I say knife? I meant life. Why your very life could be in danger. Oh, dear. Have you seen any suspicious activity lately? Well... I did have this very well-dressed young woman come in and try to sell me a book that she couldn't unlock. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about thieves. I'm talking about criminals. I'm talking about people with bad teeth and horrible scars. I thought you said you didn't know what they look like. All criminals have bad teeth and horrible scars. Well, I'll be sure to keep a lookout for them. You do that. After all, citizens like you are the mouth and stomach of the police force. Don't you mean eyes and ears? Not when it's close to lunchtime. I'm starved. Did you hear that, Bomblerina? Jewel thieves. Oh, how I'd wish they'd come here. Then I'd give them a good drubbing with my quarterstaff. Just like Robin Hood used to do. Oh, oh! Well, I'd better get these things cleaned up. But first thing tomorrow, I want you to return them to whomever you stole them from. Hey, Eddie, is this the place? Sure looks like the place, Fingers. I mean, it's got books and everything. I thought we was looking for jewels. We are looking for jewels. You meatball. The jewels are inside the book. How'd they get in there? Let's go over this one more time. Step one, the lady in red steals the necklace. Step two, she puts the necklace in a book. Step three, she sells the book to a used bookstore. Step four, we buy the book from the used bookstore. Step five, we give the necklace to the boss. That's a lot of stuff. It's for the boss's protection. He don't want the lady in red to know who he is in case she gets caught. Oh, okay. Hey, wait a minute. What if we get caught? We ain't doing nothing illegal. We just buying a book. Oh yeah, well, there sure are a lot of books here. How are we supposed to know which one has the jewel? The boss made me look for one book in particular. He even made me repeat the name over and over so I'd remember it. Oh really? What's the title? I forget, but I know the book has a lock on it. How about this one, Eddie? Treasure Island. It sounds like it could have jewels in it. Does it have a lock on it? No. Then that ain't it. Oh, may I help you? You the book guy? I'm the proprietor of this bookshop, yes. Oh, well my name's Eddie and this here is my business partner, Fingers. What type of business are you in? Business? Yes. If you're business partners, then you have to be in some sort of business. Hey, Fingers, he wants to know what type of business we're in. Monkey. What? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> she means we import monkeys. And export them. That's right, we import and export them. We send them out there and bring them right back in. The same monkeys? Oh, yes. Monkeys is very active creatures. They don't like to do a lot of sitting around. We was hoping you could find us a book. Well, you came to the right place. I've got thousands of books. Yeah, the thing is we're looking for one particular book. Can you tell me the name of it? Uh, we don't know. 
Well, can you tell me what it's about? Oh, oh, it's about this big. No, what's inside? It's contents. Oh, jewels. Oh, what? You have to excuse Finger. She means the book is a jewel. So well written. Yeah, it's got some good words and stuff. Well, that's not a lot to go on, but I'll see what I can find. <coughs> Could this be the book? Oh, oh, no, that's not it. Is there something wrong with this book? Yeah, it, um... Opens too easily. <laughs> it opens too easily. Yeah, we're looking for a book that don't open. <laughs> then how are you gonna read it? Oh, we're not gonna read it. We're gonna smuggle it. What? Oh no, snuggle. <laughs> she means snuggle, you know, keep it close to our cheeks. On second thought, maybe you should just look for the book yourself. We can do that? Sure you can do that. Just make sure you put it away when you're done. You got it. No, this ain't it. Not even close. Hey, Eddie, I'm not finding it. Well, keep looking. It has what to be are you doing? We're just doing what you said. We're looking for books. But you're just throwing them on the floor. I told you two to put them away when you're done. Well, that's the thing. We ain't done yet. Stop it. Don't you know you could damage them that way? They're just books. Yeah, it's not like we got any feelings. All right, get out. We haven't found what we're looking for. I don't care. I can't have you two ruining my entire store. But, hey, Eddie, I think we better get out of here. Yeah, you're right, Fingers, but mark my words, we'll be back. Well, Lorena, thank you for chasing those two horrible people away. I don't know what I would have done without you. You were pretty brave back there. In fact, if you're so brave, I'm going to have you sleep down here from now on. Oh, sure. You heard those two brutes. They could be back at any time. <laughs>